Good morning, everyone. Today I would like to talk about Leon F. Whitney. Who was he? Why do I always recommend his book? Dr. Whitney was a vet. He was an author, and he was a pigeon flyer. If I recall correctly, Dr. Whitney flew under Speed Dome Loft. One flyer I know and admire very, very much was Charlie Loftus. Charlie purchased some of Dr. Whitney's pigeons. I don't think he purchased uh, Huskin Van Reels. Whitney also had some stasics, and I think those are the pigeons Charlie purchased. And he was a good pigeon flyer. As a young man, very young man, teenager, I admired Charlie, Charlie Loftus, great pigeon flyer. But I want to really talk about it's this book. Keep Your Pigeon Flying by Dr. Whitney. What I really like about this book is Dr. Whitney did a lot of the research. He had students he was a professor, too. He taught classes. And some of the students did research. In fact, it was one of his students that showed me early on that I was worming my birds. And I wasn't getting the worms out. The drug I used at that time was piperazine. And I followed the instructions on the bottle, but it didn't eradicate the worms. In his book, it was a footnote. One of the students gave the birds three cc's of piperazine. It was 16% solution at the time. And he concluded that it removed hair worms. Well, I tried it on six pigeons, put them in a little day pen, gave them three cc's, down their crop, locked them in the screen, and walked away. I came back about six or seven hours later, and boy, was there worms in there. What I seen was the, the round worms. I don't think you could really see the hair worms too easily. But it was from this book that I learned that. Again, he did a lot of the research. And some of his students did a lot of the research. But he published it. He put it out. And it sure helped me. In his book, he goes through many aspects of pigeon racing. I'm, I've got the book in front of me, and that's why I got my glasses on. He's going to go into the pigeon's body and how it functions, what you should know about foods and feeding, pigeon food ingredients, Drugs and their uses. Now, that's very, very old. He also recommended in his book to stay aware of new drugs coming on the market. And boy, I did. Goes into disease and how a pigeon catches them pretty much in detail. And the diseases pretty much haven't changed. They're the same. The drugs might be different, but the actual disease is the same. 
Then he goes into diseases caused by bacteria, diseases caused by viruses, diseases caused by funguses, diseases caused by protozoans, the little single cell animals. Deficiency diseases. Maybe you're not feeding your birds properly. He goes into detail and explains what you should be feeding them. Then he goes into external parasites, which we covered with the moxidextrin. He goes into internal parasites. Uh, we covered that too, but we're going to go back to that. Then he goes into tumors and pigeon surgery, sanitation, prevention, and poisons. This is a book you should try to get your hands on. It's old, but the research done in this book was way ahead of its time. We have the internet today. A lot of words in this book uh, beyond me. But I could look them up on the internet and get a pretty good idea of what they are. Part of this book, he goes into hormones. And I'm going to tell you right now, hormones are what makes a pigeon win races. The combination of this book and observation led me to winning races and flying well. Understanding what was happening with the pigeon and taking advantage of it and at what stage to take advantage of it. I'm going to go into